Hi, in this video I will show you how to use multi-column resources in an Android app. So if you have the situation that you have uh, resources uh, like a, let's say uh, uh, an address book or multiple uh, columns like here, I have schools with a with an fitting address and an URL and I want to open a, uh, a list then in Android uh, Studio you can set up in your uh, resources um, you, you, it's not really you're not really able to say uh, that in strings for example you may set up a hashtag a hash table or something this is not possible so uh, Android says or Google says you should do it like this <coughs> uh, and you and it's not really useful to to, uh, to take an XML file. So if I would take uh, an Excel table, Excel table, and store that as an X, uh, XML file, then uh, this would be sometimes uh, causing errors when you have your a missing address or something like this. So <coughs> it's a lot better to uh, do it in this way, which I show you uh, in the resources. In the values you crea create a new resource table resource file table and then it's uh, you uh, set it up like this one you say uh, arrays dot xml and then you have in under the uh, under the tag block resources you have one block with uh, the first column and then uh, one uh, block with the second columns you also always have to set it up like this uh, one uh, one um, short name or address and then this, this is the uh, second table so we have here uh, the first string array and then we have here the second string array and they always have to uh, have the same uh, the same uh, order but even if you don't have the same order, uh, if this one uh, fits, then you should also always find the second, uh, the uh, corresponding line or the second uh, table. So okay, let's. We have this one, and now I start it on my app, and I show it there. Uh, I want that I load the first uh, into my spinner control. I load the first uh, block, the string array, and then as soon as as I click on the first one, I want to have here on the bottom the, f the fitting uh, URL. So this is the second table and this is the third table, uh, the first table. So we have here a string array with the name schools, Schulen in uh, German, and there's, this is the second name, the second one. So we start now here uh, on the programming. Uh, first I have here the uh, on selected uh, listener and there's here what happens on uh, the on item selected so this is uh, the code from the previous videos uh, and <coughs> what happens now is uh, when we go to the breakpoint when I click on an element in my line like this one then I first ask <coughs> my table with F8 please give me my values let's have here the, my values uh, here is my my watches here <coughs> this one I don't need this one Please give me. Uh, please give me the value of the uh, as a string from the first element. So this is what is what I selected the string inside there. So this means parent get uh, parent get item position or item at position, and the position is given by here on item selected we have here this uh, third, third parameter is the uh, position so we have parent get item at position to string 
So finally we have selected. And then I say find the index of, a, of the string array. So this means find the position. Is it the, uh, this position or this one? With the first or the, se the second? Zero or one? Beginning with zero one. Now we say find index and this uh, in uh, in Android or in Java there's not um, let's say all function all methods have uh, problems so I wrote my own um, um, method <coughs> I, I wrote first uh, find the find the index of a string array with a matching uh, search uh, stuff I said find index of a string array. This is the string array get resources, uh, get a string array out of that name. Get this one as a resource, uh, take the resource and convert it as a uh, string array. So, uh, I don't need this, we are here get resources, get string array of this uh, named resource ID, which is called uh, schools, and uh, search for the selected value of string. So the, the stuff says, okay, for a uh, loop of i to uh, the array length of from 0 to 1, in this case 0 to 1 or anything else, Check if this one, the string, is equals <coughs> to an array and return it to zero, uh, return the corresponding value. And then I say, when you have done this, uh, we will get the index. So the cursor is now it swapped on there, and now we have the index one. And then we say, okay, <coughs> with F8, uh, F9, shit. Was not F8, it was F9. Now, this is I selected the first one. Now we are here at the uh, resource, and now I say, okay, get from the resource, from get from the sti uh, resources, get string array of this name which means give me this string array and from there with a with an uh, with this oh, with this uh, cornered clamp uh, I want the index from there so and as soon as we take this one then we will get the corresponding value. So index is zero. Give me the first element from there. Give me the first element from there. The, the index begins from uh, zero and now run the final stuff. Now you will see, as you see, when I click on there, I get the second value. It's always on the lower button or run it delete the breakpoint uh, this one or the other one give me the first or the second URL of a corresponding table so this uh, example showed how to give uh, how to handle a multi column multi column resource I hope I could help you by, th by this uh, multi column resources and if you need more information uh, make a subscription. <laughs>